Hi, I'm Dr. Bradley Nelson, author of The Emotion Code. People ask me, what is The Emotion Code? And I'd like to explain it to you very quickly. If you look at your hand, for example, your hand looks solid, but if you could magnify that hand a million times, you'd see that your hand is actually made of atoms, and if you could look inside of an atom, you'd see there's nothing in there but empty space and energy. And that's really what we are. We're beings of pure energy. You are a being of pure energy. Now, in your past, you've had times where you've experienced intense emotions of maybe sadness or depression or anger or resentment and frustration and so on. During those times, what happens is that we actually are feeling uh, the vibration of those emotions. Every emotion has a specific vibrational energy and frequency. So if you're feeling an intense emotion, what can happen is your whole body can take on that vibration. And it's during those times that that energy can become stuck in your body. So that even after that event is over and you've moved on, part of that event is still with you. We call that a trapped emotion. And a trapped emotion is a little ball of energy from about the size of a baseball to about the size of a cantaloupe. And wherever these lodge in the body, they will do two things. They will distort the normal energy field of your body. And because that's all your body is, is an energy field, when you distort that energy field, you interfere with the body's ability to function normally. And that can cause pain. It can cause malfunction of organs and glands. It eventually can lead to serious problems such as cancer, we believe. There's another problem, though, that these trapped emotions cause. When you have a trapped emotion in the body, your body is literally feeling that specific emotion all the time, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for years, for decades. And because of that, when a situation arises where you might tend to feel that emotion, if that emotion, for example, is anger, you'll slide right into that emotion much more readily or much more easily than you otherwise would. And so this is the reason why when a trapped emotion is removed, Oftentimes it changes how people feel. It changes the emotions that tend to well up inside of them about certain people or certain events. That seems to just go away. These trapped emotions are contributing to problems like depression and anxiety and panic attacks and phobias and eating disorders and self-sabotage of all kinds, as well as the being a primary underlying cause of PTSD. These trapped emotions also contribute to the high rate of divorce that we have in our world, as well as the strife and the anxiety on a larger level that happens to the world as a whole. So getting rid of these emotions is a very important thing to do not only for yourself, but also for our planet.